Hey everyone, David here with TND Sports Cards. Welcome to our newest video. In this video, we are going to be opening a rack pack of 1980 Tops football. And uh, to be honest, I have not really had much luck opening these, at least on the channel. These in the 79s, I haven't really been able to find anything significant. Uh, so. I'm hoping uh, maybe we could change that today. Uh, there are uh, a couple of uh, notable uh, rookies um, that have actually climbed significantly in value recently, and that's uh, Phil Sims and Lester Hayes. Um, another uh, couple of rookies we could find would be Otis Anderson, who's actually pictured on the Cardinals team leaders here, but this is not um, specifically his uh, individual rookie card. And uh, Clay Matthews' rookie card is uh, also in this set, so um, finding either one of those would be fun. And um, there are uh, loads and loads of Hall of Famers. There's a really nice uh, Walter Payton card in here, a uh, picture of him, uh, I believe, in the, uh, the now um, uh, gone uh, Pontiac Silverdome. So, uh, uh, yeah, there's, like I said, there's lots of... Uh, uh, potential uh, Hall of Famers and stars we could find in here. So with that, let's uh, get into ripping this open and uh, see what we can find. And I'm not going to bother with trying to tear it open. I think this would probably be the most efficient way to do this. So look at this cell first. All right, so these, this card appears to be centered very, very nicely. Uh, hopefully that will mean that the uh, rest of the pack will follow. And this is uh, Jerry Eckwood, uh, of course, as you can see here, of the Buccaneers. This is what the backs of the cards look like. It's a nice design this year. So we have uh, Mark Mosley of the uh, Redskins, Rusty Jackson, Dan Hasselbeck, John Riggins. We seem to find uh, his cards in a lot of our breaks. So he's gonna be our first Hall of Famer here. We have Chuck Muncie, Glenn Edwards, Greg Bingham, Nat Moore, he was pretty good. Bob Abellini, John Bunting, Frank Corral, who uh, was a kicker for a long time with the Rams, uh, Chester Markle, uh, Cornell Webster, Dan Neal, and the last one is Craig Morton, who had a very lengthy career. I think the more famous part of his career is when he was um, going back and forth when he was with the Cowboys with Roger Staubach. When Tom Landry couldn't make up his mind which one he was going to use, so he decided to use the both of them interchangeably throughout games, at least for uh, half of one season he did that. I think they actually went, ended up winning the Super Bowl uh, that year, but they settled on Staubach eventually. Uh, I think that was probably a good decision. I mean, Craig Morton was good, but Staubach obviously is a Hall of Famer. All right, speaking of Halls, we have Charlie here, Jim Turner, Jesse Baker, Bob Kazeel, Mel Gray, he was pretty good. Ricky Danmeyer, Mike Thomas, Chris Barr, who kicked forever, along with his brother, Matt. I felt like they were, two of them were just around literally forever. Leonard Thompson, I think we've pulled this card before. Tom Rafferty, Mike Washington, Virgil Livers, a Rams team leader card. The Hall of Famer Jack Youngblood is on there. His brother's there as well. Roland Hooks, Harvey Martin. That's a nice pull. Mark Miller, 
and Norris Thomas. I'm not sure if Harvey Martin's in the Hall of Fame. I'm going to go with no, but I could be wrong. All right, so we got one cell left here. Let's see if we can find something nice in here. We have a Cardinals team leader, Tony Galbraith, who eventually did play for the Giants for a little while. Preston Denard, he was good. Ken Houston, another Rick Danmeyer. Mike Thomas, Barty Smith, Andre Tillman, Frank O'Harris, here's a nice card. That is a beautiful, beautiful card. Centered really nicely. I will tell a very, very quick story about Franco Harris. When I was growing up, we, uh, obviously my parents had babysitters for us. And one of the babysitters that we had was actually dating him at the time she was babysitting for us. And uh, a couple of times we actually had opportunities to maybe even meet him, but it never happened. So um, that was unfortunate. You know, when I was little, I, I mean, I, I would have probably passed out if I'd met Franco Harris. So he was such a, such a larger than life uh, figure in the NFL uh, at that point in time. So that would have been really cool, but um, yeah, that was um, that was interesting, uh, especially looking back now to think, wow, we had a babysitter who was actually dating somebody who was that uh, big of a star. Um, all right, so that was my little story about Franco Harris. Okay, we have Bob Grupp of the Chiefs. We have the Oilers team leader card, which um, surprisingly does not have Earl Campbell on it but it does not have uh, rushing statistics, so that would explain why. Uh, we have uh, Chris Barr again. We have another Leonard Thompson. We have another Tom Rafferty. We have Cliff Branch, who is, I believe, in the Hall of Fame. Uh, if he's not, he probably should be. Uh, Jack Tatum and another Chuck Muncie. So we had... Uh, several duplicates in here and our i guess our uh, bigger finds that we had here were cliff branch uh the franco harris which is uh, like i said is just a really really nice car this card is centered very nicely good surface nice corners and we have a John Riggins. So there we have um, our uh, next uh, foray into 1980 Topps football. Uh, we did not pull any of the uh, big mentioned rookie cards, uh, but we did find some nice ones, including the Hall of Famers. We just went over again there. So I want to thank you guys for um, tuning in and checking us out. Uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, we will see you later in the week with... Uh, Another new video, if uh, we have any retail finds or, um, or a new release shows up, uh, we obviously will bring that to you. But otherwise, uh, I guess we'll be looking ahead to, to Thursday. All right, so uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy your week, and uh, we will see you soon. Take care.